Okay. See, yeah, that was that was yeah. re- really long, long time ago. Yeah. So, so if you had the name Hot Sauce in the seventies, you better had an eight track and a deuce and a quarter in your car. I was about to ask Jay. I was literally about to say before he said deuce and a quarter. I was yeah. about to ask Jay, has he ever been around a car that was completely metal? That to the point where if you hit the bumper, you probably should have just called the mortuary. Yes. Know? It was <laughs> the death trap. Yeah. The death trap. Yeah. yeah. The no, bumpers, they, Jay. Yeah. Well, the bu- they weren't the, plastic. The bumpers or high, weren't, bumping, or weren't bumping anything at all. No, they, no, was, they were the bumping. Bumper, if the bumper bumped into you, yeah, that was it. Rap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a rap. I'm not it's, laughing, but they, I. Yeah, yeah they I'm were not trying to laugh. It wasn't the bumper. You were the bumpy. <laughs> so yeah, when did bumpers actually come out? They've been out, but the cars were made different, obviously, right? The cars were more, I guess, steel. Steel, yeah. Yeah, it was more steel. Metal. The bumpers, metal. Yes. And it was like mm-hmm. the bumpers, the cars that we drive today versus those cars. Yeah. If those cars ran in us. Forget it. It's a wrap. Done. And we used to play, and I don't know, I, I, if, if what you live in the suburbs, so it's probably a little bit different. In the city, like in New York and, and in L.A., we would play football. Mm-hmm. In, the street. in the street. And the cars oh, yeah. would literally be lined up mm-hmm. to the point, Jay, yeah. where they're like back to back, like you see in yeah, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but the cars are hard as hell. You run so into that. You're getting tackled into the cars. Oh, you get tackled into the car. Somebody forget say run out, and you run out, and you run right into the bumper. And you were out. You <laughs> ran out, really and out. you were out. Seriously. Yeah, Touchdown. Was... Go get the paramedics. Yeah, exactly. No, nah, man. It, you don't want that lifestyle. I don't lifestyle. like that sport. No, I'm cool. <laughs> Foul. Jay, Jay, Jay was like, no, nah, I'm calling. Foul, Penalty Freddy. flag on that Foul. one. Foul. You get four more. And, and so the cars, out. the cars of Deuce and the Quarters was really big. Yep, or Electra like 88. You, could fit, you mm-hmm. could fit. This is when we had the bench seat in the front. In the front. Instead of the, 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 the long seat. Yeah, yeah. the long seat and in the front. you mess yeah. around mm-hmm. and put four people Easily. in the front seat. <laughs> Easily. Easily. Hey, and, look, and, and five more in the three back. Three seat belts. Hey, Jay, the steering wheels was like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you turn. Mm-hmm. You turn that, he's not lying. <laughs> oh, I know. No, yeah, the old cat, he's turning like that. Uh-huh. They got the one little seat belt that just go right across the lap in the middle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, that ain't set and, up for success. And, and heaven help you. <laughs> no. Keyshawn, Jay, Will, and Max coming to you live from the Seaport District Pier 17, brought to you by Chase and ESPN Radio. Switching gears to a guy that you know, has he's been all, all gas, no breaks. When it comes to Steph Curry winning that championship, his fourth one, people have been able to leave him alone saying, you can't do this, you can't do that. He's done it all now. He said, what can you say about me now? Except this, when it comes to Bobby Marks, ESPN NBA analyst, when he was on This Just In, he says, this is how great Steph Curry is now. I actually think Steph Curry is the second best player of all time. Right behind Michael Jordan. Curry has this instinct, what I saw with Jordan, where anytime he has the ball, you think it's going to go in. He is a threat offensively. I think we've got three or four more years of Curry in his prime right now. I would put Curry ahead of LeBron James right now, as far as that number two guy behind Michael Jordan. I love this so I mean, what do you mean, all right? <laughs> all right, Jay, well. I, 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 you don't want to touch it, Jay? Man. <laughs> Go Yo, ahead. I, I, I love Steph. I think Steph is um, one of the most unique players the game of basketball has ever seen. Ever. But to me, LeBron James is just, he's different. He's in a different individual category. I, we Now, we can get into all the metrics, right? Like, sure. he's the leader in points by 17,000 points over Steph. Uh, assist by 5,000 assists. Rebounds by 7,000. He has 10,000. Steph has three. Blocks, steals, all of it. I mean, the only thing he doesn't lead statistically by a wide margin is number of threes that are made. But uh, I've seen LeBron James drag Teams to the NBA Finals that had no business at all being in the NBA Finals. So, I mean, we got into this debate the other day, Freddie, when Alan Yates was like, yo, would you mm-hmm. rather be 6-0 and in the Finals or would you rather be 6-6 six and six or whatever that record is for LeBron James? Yeah. And it was like one of those things, like, yo, I'd rather have gone there 13, 14 times. I've dominated the league for this amount of this extended period of time. So, for me, I love Stephen Curry. But I, I, I'm not going to forecast that he's going to be the second greatest player ever to play this game of basketball. I'm not going to do that right now. I, I, you, I'm not going to do that. Le- LeBron James or Cap, there are a lot of other guys that are put above Steph in that conversation. You know what's so interesting about this, Freddie and Jay, is I wish I 
knew how to forecast something on at Caesars or wherever we bet at and, and place money down, but I have my own board where mm-hmm. I can forecast what would happen. And I think, Jay, you will remember this along with Yates and maybe Pat Costello if he wasn't working in TV at the time. When Steph Curry won his championship, what was the first thing I said, Jay? You said people. You remember? You said people are going to start talking about him as one of the greatest. Didn't you say that? Like the greatest. No, I said what's going to happen is people are going to start to put him in front of LeBron James and have that conversation yep. about mm-hmm. the LeBron James if Steph Curry and if Steph Curry happens to win another one, imagine what that's going to do in terms of LeBron James. I don't personally think that Steph could catch LeBron because LeBron is so far out there already. He's so far in front of him that it would probably take him to win a couple more championships to really, like, really have a serious conversation. And I know Bobby Marks was a former general manager in this league and and knows personnel people and all those sort of things. It's just very difficult to make Steph Curry the second-best player of all time in the NBA and I know he changed the game, but so did Magic Johnson. He changed yeah. the game. And, mm-hmm. and so, you know, you start to look at it a little bit different. He's not there. Does he slide into the top ten? Yes, it's no question about it. Where does that place him, right? The top three guys clearly are the cap, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan. And yep. then from there, you can argue whoever you want to argue. But Steph Curry belongs in that conversation. I just don't believe that you put him in number two. And the, I, first off, the, just the people who are but diehard knew, Steph Curry fans. You, you called it, King. You called I it. I knew they were going to do you that. You called it. Um, you know, it's not a slight to Steph Curry that we don't think he's the second best player to ever play the game. But sure. some people who are diehard Steph and Curry fans will interpret it that way. Mm-hmm. And that's not the case. It's just LeBron James is different, man. What he brings on the defensive side of the ball, offensively, the way he impacts the game – each and every play, I, I think even Steph would tell you that he sees LeBron James as as somewhat unique and different in yeah. the overall scheme of basketball. Yeah, but I've always said for the longest time, to me, LeBron James is the greatest athlete that's ever played in the NBA because we haven't seen that kind of size of 6'8". In terms of impact, you can make whatever case you want. But I thought it was interesting that because of, to Key's point, the minute that Steph won that championship and it was the finals MVP, the lack of love for him really kind of ceased and has gotten to a different level now. How many finals MVPs Curry. LeBron got? LeBron has, what, three? What, four? Four. I think he's four, four. Right? yeah. Well, Steph, Steph in my opinion, should have two. At least two. I hear you. He should have the first one that Andre Iguodala was given to. Nothing is Andre Iguodala. But Steph Curry, come on, took over that series the first time he won the championship. He should have two. That's neither here nor there. But when Bobby Mark said that, I did just like this. I went, oh, boy, here we go. Because I knew what that was going to sound like on one side or the other regarding Steph Curry and being the second best all time what? in the NBA. Yeah, I'm sure that what's going to continue here on Keyshawn J. Willemax. What? With Keyshawn Johnson and Jay Williams. I'm Hot Sauce Freddie Coleman presenting. 